let's talk about sex, baby. But uh, let's talk about you. And yes, yeah, so let's talk about the crazy, the beautiful, and the life of intimacy. You know, putting it PG thirteen. You guys, which changes. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rena, and today we're just gonna have a little story time and on my relationships fails right my first relationship and my fails and my my lessons that i've had um in this journey so i started dating not too long ago which was just about two years ago when i was 21 years of age that's when i officially started dating <laughs> i started dating this guy he was nigerian yoruba to be exact the yoruba devils those ones but he was amazing we met on the first day of university it, it felt like a storybook you know storybook love type of thing first day of university he checked me out i'm like no and then he was like can i have your number and i was like no but so i gave him and um days has passed passed by we hadn't spoken much and then one day he just calls me out of the blue and at the time he was in china because his parents did some traveling thing and we're talking we literally spent 24 hours talking literally we spent the whole day talking we talked about life food history where we came from childhood and stuff and and i was like oh i'm starving and then he he said i'll buy you pizza i'm like what are you buying me pizza for he bought me a pizza can you believe it, you guys all the way from china and since then i was like oh i'm in love yes pizza made me fall in love <laughs> yes um afterwards we he came back went back to his place i went to visit him at his place made him some dinner yes the girl came cook made some dinner and he fell in love and that's how our story began and he was the perfect gentleman you know he always treated me like a queen and um and so forth you know he just it was amazing because we understood each other our passion our our feel our ways you know we were just so similar unfortunately what must go up must come down yes it did come down so um it became a place where um i was doing a lot of the relationship and he wasn't doing as much i felt like i was in a cycle of like giving and giving and i was like no i'm not even married to you why the heck would i be doing that stuff but yeah can't complain much because i did it by myself right but um i just think we grew up we <laughs> grew apart yeah we grew apart we grew apart yes we did we we um we drifted from each other and our interests changed um we broke up you know yet the coochie didn't break up with him so so then he came running back so yeah for that we'll talk about my first time another day you know i came back running to him and my coochie was like yes 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 and throughout the days i literally went back running to him and afterwards i was like the cycle is just continuing we're not moving forward you know and after we had to i would call it quit unfortunately being that he was international student and i started my year when he was finishing his so he had to leave when he finished and we kept on contacting the funny thing is like later on when we we became just friends our connection got even better so i was like mm -hmm. so now he is a dear 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 friend of mine and he understands me i talk to him i vent to him and we always joke around of like who is dating who who's doing what which is totally totally like one of the best things ever but with all everything i've tried to do now in life is that every single relationship be it beautiful be it bad be it tinder be it clubbing be it innocence or whatever i just try to find the lesson in every single relationship and build myself within it so with the first one because i waited so long to date right it was not really by choice but i did the biggest lesson i've learned is that once you date when you're older some people would know what they want which type of guy they want and um, with checklist and everything so maintaining the checklist meaning if you want a guy that is secure a guy that is respectable a guy that is honest and whatever you're going to be more likely to be very picky because you know what you want in my case i was picky but i became i compromised and because it was a, a first time experience type of thing i compromised a lot and i became very i would say i became very clinky you know catchy and how guys don't like clinkiness <laughs> boys do not like you being clingy on him um that happened but afterwards you know we we broke up so my advice to anyone who wants to date right now do it do it 
you know you're gonna have a lot of heartbreaks and a lot of love and it's gonna be an adventure honestly you you can't really run away from it so date away be you you are just be at the right age like wait until you're like 16 at least when you want to start dating don't start by 12 you know please beg yes but that is my first love story and though it ended in a very sad way it gave space for more adventure and yes a lot of lot of lot of lot, lot of different um, mishaps should i say a lot of tender moments a lot of crying moments breakdown alcohol and so many more you guys are gonna find out even more about it and i can't wait to tell you the day i became a side chick yes your girl was a side chick so, until next time i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below should i say up or down down below right thank you so much until next time Mwah.